So, test Friday, anything and everything from chapter one through three, but chapter one was just review so that we could get to where we could use it for chapter two and three, right? Chapter two being where we just uh, added the forces up, whether it was two systems or three systems or, or whatever. And then chapter three, uh, we did more of that plus uh, moments to find out what the resultant vector would be of a system, all right? And that was uh, more about dealing with uh, structures that had forces on them. So very similar, very similar type uh, applications. So very nuns theorem, basically what that says is if you take the moment, if I can find my mouse again, uh, why am I not, oh, I got to get into draw mode, I guess. I was already there once, that's why I thought maybe I was there. Okay, so if you take the moment at, let's, the, the original force was this, well, this is different than the problem in the book, but the original force was right through here. Okay, if you take that moment anywhere on this system along that line, if I took the moment down here, okay, it would be the same as the moment that's taken right here. The difference being, we, we've got the same force, and in this case, we would split this out. F of X is what? 200 pounds cosine of 30, right? This force is 200 pounds sine of 30, right? So that's what we've been doing all along. There's nothing different there. Okay, nothing different there, but what they're saying is, okay, what we were given is two feet and three feet, but if we took that force over here, it's still the same 200 sine of 30 and 200 cosine of 30. However, this distance here would be different, wouldn't it? And of course, the distance here is going to be zero. So that's, that's the, uh, what you have to do then is figure out what those distances are. And I kind of got my point a little bit off. It should have been right in line with that. <coughs> you just have to figure out what the distances are at that point. That's all we had to do in that one problem. What was that problem? Uh, 23, maybe? 23? Okay. I was confused as to what they wanted. I mean, I got it, but I made it way harder than it needed to be. Probably, but if you open up that, that uh, solution, you'll see that, yeah, it's, it's the hardest part is finding what the distances are. Once you find those, you're home free. And, and in some cases, finding, yeah, it was, it was uh, problem number 23. So yeah, the hardest part was figuring out what the the uh, distances are, and that's really not that hard. It, again, that goes back to kind of chapter one and chapter two stuff. So, so, and we'll do that in that example problem. That's basically what they're telling you with that theorem. That's what's going on there with this problem, okay? And, and they're showing that here. They're saying, okay, so here it is. This is how you break it out and you've, give, you've been given the distances. Here, if we, if we go along that same line, here's the same forces, but now we have different distances. We have B here that we'd be concerned with and instead of three feet. And then you have to figure out, based on your angles and, and where you're located, what that value is. That's all there is to that. Okay, don't make it any harder than that. Um, I'm not even sure you'll see that on a test. Okay, pretty good potential that you won't see that on a test. I know the guy that makes the test, and I'm going to talk to him about that. If he starts answering back, then we've got a problem. Okay. <laughs> he might. He very well might. He might. Uh, Daggone, you just had to go there, didn't you?